Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mare Bear Speaks, a show where I give my thoughts on random topics. Today's episode is about dating. Now, it might surprise a lot of you that I'm talking about this, since I've never actually dated anyone myself, but I've heard enough about other people's experiences with relationships to have something to say about it. So, what are my thoughts on dating? Well, from what I've heard, it seems kind of overrated to me. Now, before I go on, I want to clarify something. When I say the word dating, I don't mean having a boyfriend or girlfriend. I'm not criticizing you if you're in a relationship. I'm actually talking about people who have had a hundred some odd boyfriends or girlfriends between, say, ages 16 and their early 20s, or when they were finally ready to get married and settle down. It's people like these who probably think they can't be happy unless they're in a relationship. So, as soon as they break up with one person, they decide to start a relationship with another completely random person just so they won't be alone. My response? Why? What is so great about having a bunch of boyfriends or girlfriends? It's not going to be the end of the world if you're single at some point in your adult life. It's not that bad. I know I can't speak for everyone, but this is my opinion. Being single is actually pretty liberating. You have freedom to spend time with whoever you want, and you're not locked into anything. Am I saying I want to stay single for the rest of my life? No. I do eventually want to get married and start my own family, but that's only going to happen when the time comes. All I'm saying is, I don't get why some people think being single is such a bad thing. Okay, if you're an older person, say at least 60 or 70 years old, I can kind of see where you're coming from. Not many people I know want to grow old and die alone. But, even if you're not single, there's no guarantee your husband or wife won't die before you. Whether you're with someone or single, someone is going to have to die alone. That is, unless you and your spouse agree to kill yourselves at the exact same time, but you'd have to be pretty messed up to make an agreement like that. Seriously, what kind of world would we live in if people were willing to kill themselves because they were more afraid of loneliness than even death? Anyway, getting back to what I was saying about dating obsessed teens and young adults, I just get really annoyed by people like this. Seriously, I'd rather date a guy who had never been in a relationship than one who had been in a crapload of them, because what it tells me when a guy's dated a bunch of girls is that A, he's probably had a bunch of relationship problems, unless all his exes somehow died, in which case I wouldn't want to go anywhere near the guy, and B, he's probably only dated a majority of these girls just so he could say he was with somebody. More than likely, he never actually gave a crap about any of them. Now, I know what you're all probably going to say. Mary, these guys have dated so many girls. They're the best kind. Guys who have never dated anyone are losers. Girls don't want to date them because they're jerks and no one likes them. Uh, no. Not necessarily. I mean, okay, I can kind of see your point. Some guys can be total jerks. But if a guy's a jerk, don't you think I could figure that out by getting to know him? I mean, I'm not just going to decide to date a guy after knowing him only two seconds. Plus, to those of you saying guys who've never had girlfriends have never dated anyone because they're losers, uh, no. That's not necessarily the case either. More than likely, these guys have never dated anyone because they're not trying too hard to find a girlfriend. They're simply waiting for the right person to come along. So, to wrap up, I think it's kind of stupid when people think they have to have a bunch of boyfriends and girlfriends to adore them. but. I do want to have a future with a guy one of these days. I do want to get married. So anyway, I think I've covered everything I want to talk about in this episode. This has been Mare Bear Speaks. See you next time.